friends, welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Zweetie Pie, and today we are back with the Magical Witches Legacy Challenge. So our air here is just getting up. I'm gonna have her come get around real quick and then get some breakfast. And Selena is going to be sleeping. She really needs to get around, so I'm just going to have her use the bathroom. I didn't do too well getting her in bed for school. Okay, go potty. You're good enough. Go potty. I forgot she aged up. No wonder she didn't have homework and I bought her more. She's a young adult. Haha. <laughs> okay. So we get to move on. Oh wow. Okay. Um so in order to do that, there are a couple things we have to do before we move. So let me shuffle the papers and get them in front of me. Make sure the air harvest is the wild mandrake plant to plant as their new home. Wild mandrake. We'll just come and harvest all. What are you doing? Just talking, okay. Okay. All right, so then we got to put the money tree in our inventory. Come on, catch up with me. Thank you. Let me in. Ah, there. In inventory. Thank you. Okay, we have that in inventory. Let's take that. We need that. I think the rest of it is fine. All right, it is time to move. I have a new house ready for them that I have built. So I will get that on the lot and then I will bring you guys back. I'm just going to move them up here. This is going to be the same lot, it's just we're going to have a different home so I will see you guys in just a moment all right Zweetians we are back and this is our new home and this is called the Glimmerbrook Estate so I will make sure that I have the first house we had up which was Glimmerbrook Meadows and then this one which is Glimmerbrook Estate up on my gallery for you in case you are doing this challenge as well and you would like to use it um this house has everything you need in the rules for it um i'll give you a quick tour here um the downstairs here on the porch you have a um, chess table here and then you come in the living room you have like a little open area here for coats 
and the living room is tucked over here in this corner with a gaming system then you have a big dining area here and it leads straight into the kitchen because this is the kitchen which so i wanted the house to focus more on the kitchen and dining than anything so you got the fireplace there um back through this door here you have the master bedroom and then you have the toilet room and then the shower room for the master it's kind of split this door here we have laundry so she'll be keeping up with laundry in this one and then there are two doors three doors here well there was um let me fix that real quick his door came up missing there we go i was gonna say where'd the door go you're not gonna get in this bedroom okay so the middle door takes you into the bathroom that the children share then you have a bedroom that's made up for a girl here looks like that and then a bedroom on the other side made up for a boy so we'll see what she gets i might have to change that then you got stairs here so if you go upstairs the upstairs is um your desk area you got your bookcases up here it is all magical um you got your cauldron up here it's literally where you do all your stuff at so that's pretty much it there and then out in the backyard this generation's about family and cooking so we have the swing set the monkey bars we have that we have just a corner area we have the bees that we have to deal with in this generation and then over here she has her stuff I already put out the money tree and then her mandrake that she harvested from the last one i'll have her come plant it when we get started um, and then I just got a few extra details around the house. So that is the home. And I am going to go over with you generation two. Your family was always on the move and you just want to grow roots, stay grounded and have a family. Brew, bake and cook and using herbs and crystals to your heart's content. You have to have the master chef which she has and we've been working on then for her traits she has to have foodie neat and family oriented then from growing up well she got the rest oh and i got her a license which is the um explorer mod from kawaii stacy i did that off screen i forgot about it um, she's got a close-knit lifestyle because it's just the two of them and no fame and nothing like that so um, that's pretty much there lot we can choose lot traits we can choose I don't know if I gave this place any lot traits let's look yes I did it's great soil good schools and science lair and then um, we get to earn money from selling our honey, collectibles, harvests, and the money tree. So we're going to do it from the honey and the money tree and the harvestables. So we won't be doing any collectibles. Um, familiar for this generation, a pet or the familiar orb of the owl, which she has her little owl. It's out. You need to have a cauldron and the birdies bee box, which we have, I showed you. After you move on to your lot, feel free to use the rest of your simoleons to create some sort of livable abode or down one from the gallery, which we have. Plant your mandrake given to you from your ancestors, which we're getting ready to do. And then go to the gardens and harvest the wild lemon tree and grow a lemon tree at home. When our air becomes... A teen have them help you in the garden planting and watering which she doesn't even have any kids yet um, we can unlock the money tree if you want 
she has to learn all the practical magic spells and she has to learn and use any five potions so we'll probably just do all practical magic earn the mix master spellcaster perk which i don't think she has any perks yet yeah she don't have any perks so It would be this one here, I believe. Because this is the blender arm, so that's mix. Um, chance of potion creation that all the required ingredients will not be used. Okay, a little extra chemistry. Um, mix master. Earn the mix master spellcaster perk. Okay, right there. We got to get to that one at least which we can do uh, master the cooking skill which let's see i think we did well we gotta look the skills no we're really close we're at nine and like right there 89 percent. so we're almost at the master of the cooking and then for this generation to find our mate we have to head out to Caster's Alley in the Magical Realm to buy supplies, and you see a witch standing across the way. Your heart flutters. You walk over to introduce yourself, and you immediately think how wonderful this person is. Over time, you fall in love, marry, and have a family. The first child you have is the same as your heir. And then we have to learn the Rite of Ascension spell, um, just in case they not have the bloodline. And we have to make sure they harvest the... Um, harvestables um, and we can have as many children as we like as long as the firstborn is the heir so that is what we are going to be working on so I think the first thing we're gonna do is go get the lemon I mean oh whoa wrong button she needs to come over here and plant these and then I love you Grammy but um, you're gonna get this bed now sorry Celeste that will be your bed but you may do as you would like we are gonna follow Stelina All right, so Stelina is all good. We have, find my pen, there it is. Do, do, do. Plant the mandrake given to you by your ancestors. We have done that. Um, we need to come over here and bond with our bees. Oh, our mailbox is so in the wrong spot, it must have moved. I will fix that really quick before either that or I forgot to put one back down. I probably forgot to put one back down. So if you download this lot, you are going to need to put it back down, but that's okay. Right there will work. Did you bond with your bees? You're checking the bee box. Okay. You check that bee box. Okay. Next, we're going to travel to the magical realm. And we got to go and get a wild lemon tree and get that planted do, 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 do. all right 
is to the gardens. Yep, to the gardens, okay. Cherry, apple, lemon. Harvest all. I mean, we already have lemons in our thing, but I'm going to make her go and harvest all that she's supposed to harvest. So now we have even more lemons. So we are good. Um, oh, yeah, Grandma has it. Do, 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 do. Let's return to HQ. Let's go to Caster's Alley real quick. Let's see what we have over here. Apple, death metal, kissing, lily, posh, posh. Um, Daryl is passing away. Okay. Dante Caliente. Do we want Dante to be it? Well, we better come over and introduce ourselves in case Dante becomes our guy that we saw across the way. And he is just it. He's a hamburger man. Who's this? Aaron Behead. You are a young adult. You are an elder, so that's not going to happen. At least he's a young adult. Um, I want to do a get to know. Get to knowing. Chevy. Okay, he's leaving. So we're gonna be like, oh, nice to meet you. And she's gonna think about it because it doesn't have to be right now. That's the great thing about it. Okay, nothing here I want. Go over here. All right, so our next error needs to have an orb of the fairy. Not here. Um, I don't know if we have this book or not, but we're gonna buy it because we have the money, so why not? I need to write down all the books we have so I don't overbuy them, but for right now, it's okay. So she has to learn practical magic. And Grim is in there, so I don't wanna go in there. But the practical magic guy is there. Ask the teach potion recipe. Maybe everybody will be gone by the time she gets there. Potion of plentiful needs. Yes. Um... Try to cheer him up. Ask to teach practical magic. And now we know Scrubberoo. Thank you. All right. And she's really tired, so I'm just going to send her home.
I know it's not late and we could do more, but she's really tired, so I don't want to push it. So we got our lemon tree, so we need to go home and plant it. Oh, she's been decorating while we were gone. House is looking very festive. It's the middle of summer and I have Christmas up. <laughs> Christmas everywhere. Wow. Okay. There we go. No, I want to plant and plant. Okay, it failed to germinate in there, so no, I want the little lemon. Thank you. Plot, plot, and then we'll move them in. Wada, wada. And then I'll do it. I do it myself. Thank you, game. Study magical tomb. Dad's here. Hi, Dad. You're on the wrong side. Oh. Let's not do that. What we need to do is go up and make a potion of plentiful needs. I heard you became friends with Dante. He's pretty cool. Why, thank you. He's probably going to be our mate. I know, you're tired. Get up here and make this. You've reached a new spellcaster rank. Good job. Why, thank you. I'm so glad I could. Just for you, game. Just for you. Oh, it's poor quality. Oh, she passed out on us. All right, she's gonna go bottle up one. Drink. Does it still work? Oh, it still worked. All right. <laughs> then we're going to go bottle up all of them. Bottle up all. All right. Oh, I put some magical seeds up there. Magical starter plant. Well, thank you, but I didn't want them. So, now let's have her come and cook. What do we want? Crown roast. Never made that in the game. Let's make it. I'm glad to be in a new house. I'm not gonna lie. The last one was getting to me a little bit. This one's got some room to grow. Alright, we maxed our cooking. 
So we have Clarence at our lemon tree. We have Max, our cooking skill. And we have done one potion, all marked down. Put away. Ganga, she said. All right. And I think we're going to end this episode here. So we have our potential mate already. Um, we'll go to Castor Alley a few more times, see if we meet anybody else. Um, if not, then it will be him because I want a young adult. Um, she's all about family and stuff like that. So she will actually marry her mate and do what her mom didn't do. She's all about having that family, raising that family. She's going to have kids. Um, we're going to have more than just the heirs. So we'll see how this generation goes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. But until next time, all my Zweedians out there, have a Zweedy-licious day. Bye, guys!